Strung Hannah by Robert Chandler. This week, Anya. I don't like to tell tales, Tony, but as office manager I feel I have to tell you. Well, she's not really my problem. I mean, she's not... You're scared of her. <laughs> I'm not. Yes, you are. You're such a big girl. You're intimidated by a cleaning lady. <laughs> no, I'm intimidated by a psychopath. <laughs> that Mrs Mop Act is just a front, you know. <laughs> Well, if you don't talk to her about her attitude, I will. And if that doesn't work, I'll go to Chris. Morning! Morning, Han. What brings her ladyship down from the penthouse to talk to us proms, then? (laughs) How very funny. Well, Sir Charles is whining and dining some fat cat banker, so I thought I'd catch up with the gossip here. Well, Anya is in bad mood overdrive and has been for ages. Time of the month? Have you heard of a period that lasted for five years? <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> oh, here she comes. Heads up. Oh, her head's off. Got the look on her face. <laughs> Morning, Anya. Drop dead. <laughs> Morning, Anya. <laughs> Come on, Anya. You're not normally like... Well, OK, you are. <laughs> But this is like the worse than usual. Come on, Anya, you can tell us. All right, it's Grzegorz. I find him in bed with other woman. I grab her hair, haul her across the room and throw her out French doors. <laughs> Your flat's on the seventh floor, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. Relax. She fall in the river. She missed railings by this much. (laughs) Unfortunately, I see her climbing out like a wet dog. Thank goodness. Well, I tell Grzegorz what I think of him and kick him into next week, then he gets thrown out too. You didn't. He escaped through the front door before I get chance. Well, these rough round the edges... Polish labourers you fall for. You have to expect this sort of thing. I'm in foul mood. I smoke cigar to calm down. <laughs> you smoke cigars? Yes. So? That's fine. And it's not averse to a hand-rubbed Cuban round the back of the building, are you? Uh. <laughs> Karen! <laughs> you know what I like about cigar? Is getting cigar cutter and cutting and off. Gesture of emasculation. Reminds me what I did to first boyfriend who cheated on me. Morning, Tony. Morning. Clever how he walks with legs crossed. Mm. Are you smoking, Anya? Yes, got a problem with that. Um, no, no, no. <laughs> Thought you were, um, just checking. Well, I have to be, um... Getting back to your tropical fish and classical music? Yes. <laughs> you don't know what it's like, Han. Your tip, he like Labrador. By your side all the time. One word, and he roll over and let you tickle his tummy. Close. Karen. <laughs> I mean, OK. He look like a um, geek, but at least he not cheat on you. True. I am very lucky to have Tim. Make sure you don't grow a beard then, Han. What? They say people start to look like their dogs. <laughs> if um, you were a bit more, uh, you know, feminine, Anya, you might attract different sorts of men. I mean, are you pretty? And I bet you've got lovely legs under those jeans. Are you lesbian? <laughs> No, just what we say nice things to each other, it's called a compliment. (laughs) Right. I mean, look how you're sitting, slumped in that chair, legs apart, like a man slobbed out on a sofa. So? 
I have jeans on. Nothing on show. You dress like a man, you talk like a man, you smoke like a man, drink like a man. <laughs> Sit like a man and fight like a man. <laughs> Come on, be poised with your legs crossed daintily like we sit. I've never seen Karen with her legs apart. No, that's your speciality, isn't it? Karen. <laughs> well, yes, it says so in ladies. <laughs> but why should I have to change? Because all men think about is sex. They should see me for who I am. Yeah, but I, I don't think the Maura Hindley vibe really does the trick. <laughs> I not Eliza Dolittle. You can't put me in miniskirt. Anya is Anya. Looking like her, not change me. <laughs> you don't have to dress like a tart, Anya. Just wear a dress or some leggings or a nice skirt with a jacket and a blouse. You've got a lovely smile on those rare occasions you use it. <laughs> You've got lovely hair, nice eyes. Shut up! You sound like you're chatting me up. <laughs> well, I think Anne's right. A makeover would do you good. See if it works. If it doesn't, then we'll accept we were wrong. You can go back to your old self. I think about it. Good. Because your mood has been so bad lately, Tony and I were talking about telling Chris this morning. <laughs> Chris not fired me. He's scared of me too. <laughs> Turn me into shop window dummy and the fear men have of me gets less strong. Well, think about it. I think Han will probably make a good Henry Higgins. I just can't stop thinking about your crazy plans to change Anya. You've been watching too much selfie. <laughs> And as you won't let me make you over despite many offers, I have to have someone to girlify. Yes, well, if you want my opinion, I wouldn't get involved. What if you get her hopes up and it all goes wrong? She knows where we live. <laughs> no, she doesn't. Well, she'll find out. She's probably in Polish intelligence or something. <laughs> she said I was lucky to have a man like you. You are? She said you were a Labrador. <laughs> My beard's not that shaggy. No, she meant faithful, by my side like a dog. Ah. Oh. Anyway, time for sleep now, eh? I'll try not to dream about Anya. Good idea. Might be like dreaming about Freddy. <laughs> I don't want to be waking up dead in the morning. Yep, just think about what you said there. Sir Charles? Generally or in this particular instance? <laughs> eh, what? Oh, very good. I mean, about trying to change Anya. Well, <coughs> she cleans here, so it should be in my interest to have her less surly and more feminine. Mind you, coldness in these gorgeous blue eyes, well... Oh. <laughs> okay. No, uh, good luck. Hey. Uh, if you could get it to smile, it would be nice. It might mean I have to devote some of my work time to my project. As long as everything I need has done, you can use your remaining time as you like, you gorgeous creature. Thank you. I wonder if she used to be a man. <laughs> First thing you need to know is that I don't do things by half, so you're in for the full works. Oh my god. <laughs> Hair, makeup, clothes, posture flirting, the lot. Then we have to find some people here to test the new one you're on. Oh god, are you joking? <laughs> it's bad enough working with them without dating them too. <laughs> I don't think of anyone here I would want to go out with. What about Paul in accounts? He's desperate. <laughs> Come on, Han, you can do better than that. He's like a dog at a dinner table. <laughs> he hits on her now and we haven't even started her transformation. 
he has luteous eye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I suppose. The only way he'd ever get laid is if he crawled up a chicken's arse and waited. <laughs> Let's just show you how easy it is to look more feminine. I have here. What? <laughs> I'm not wear that. There's nothing of it. This is one of my nicest clubbing and partying dresses. Try it. It'll look great on you. You're nice and slim. Go on, try it on. See how nice you look in it. Oh, not a light. Not on top of your clothes, Anya. <laughs> Instead of no, I feel like prostitute. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, wait a minute. I come back in a minute. You're brave, trusting Annie with that. That's really expensive. It's all in a good cause. Can you bring that long mirror over? Mm. It's quite nice. Wow. Okay. Now just smile and look a bit more. You know, come hither. What? <laughs> What do you want a man to notice you? But I don't. I'm off men. Look, just pretend. Look, sit here. There. Now, sit up straight and just drape one leg over the other like this. Show her, Karen. There. I'll just dangle my foot flirtatiously and give my head that little, you know, coquettish tilt like this. I'm smiling already. <laughs> don't push your luck. <laughs> now, just look at yourself in that mirror. Oh, all right. I admit I look nice. Wait, so I walk over to chair like this, then sit like this and cross my legs. Perfect. There you see, you can do it. Look, here comes Tony. Morning, Anna. Morning, Karen. Morning, Anya. Wow, you look lovely. Pervert. No! <laughs> You a compliment, you smile and say thank you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Okay, Tony, that's enough now. <coughs> yes, sir. See you later. Have to prepare for some meeting with some accounts bloke. Remember, Anya, a man can compliment a woman without wanting to sleep with her. Wow. Anna, you look hot. Do you want to sleep with me? <laughs> I said men like Paul. <laughs> Talk to me like that again, and I tear off your balls and stuff them in your mouth. <laughs> uh, okay. I'll go and see Tony. Yuck. Bad timing, that. But honestly, Anya, learn how to take a compliment. Sitting in a chair nicely in a pretty dress is a start, but without everything that goes with it, you'll just be Anya in a pretty dress. The personality has to go with the look, you know. Don't worry about Paul, Anya. He was hitting on you when you weren't doled up. Now you're my project. I feel responsible for you. Look, I change mind. Pretty dress and smiling and thanking people is not me. I'll never keep this up. Hmm. Well, I don't think that dress was intended to stay up for long. <laughs> she meant the act, Karen. What about that day spa you go to that Sir Charles pays for? Oh, yeah. What you doing, Sausage, Anya? I don't know. Shooting pigeons in park, probably. <laughs> <laughs> now, you're coming for a pamper day at this really exclusive spa. Makeup, hair, sauna, massage, everything. That sounds expensive. It's all on me. Well, I suppose a day being pampered would be nice. OK, thank you. I go to Park Sunday instead. <laughs> That's an idea. Why not test out the new Anya at our glitzy company dinner dance next month? It only happens every two years because Sir Charles is too tight to spend out on it annually. <laughs> Grab it while you can. That's Anya's motto, isn't it? <laughs> hey! <laughs> I've wanted Tim to take me time and time again, but he hates social functions, so we never go. Anyway, Anya, it'll be perfect for you. As well as the staff, lots of directors and shareholders come. Only the biggest knobs hang out there. <laughs> there speaks the voice of experience. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs>
You don't have to talk posh. Just look beautiful, flirt and beguile the men with your exotic accent. He's not exotic. He's Polish. <laughs> yeah, but there won't be many Polish women there, so you have an edge on the competition. If you smile and compliment people and wear a nice dress, you'll feel like a beautiful swan and not an ugly duckling, and men will be drawn to your lock moths around a flame. What's it worth? <laughs> Are you finding a decent partner? Money. <laughs> all right, all right. If you manage to pull someone at the dinner dance, I'll reward you with 100 quid. Make it 200 and you've got a deal. <laughs> you drive out barking. I do. And before you turn me down, just remember what happened to the bitch I caught with my Grzegorz. <laughs> deal. Right. Two hundred. Let's do it. What have I got to lose? Nothing, but I'll be down two hundred quid when you pull it off. That's what the men at uni used to say to you, isn't it, Han? <laughs> I didn't charge people for sex at university. I gave of myself freely. Well, you have three weeks to transform Eliza. Do you think you can do it? Let's see, shall we? Anya shall go to the ball, as opposed to going for the balls. <laughs> Best thing about the dinner dance is after the silver service, when the desserts are laid out. Yeah, they look nice when they're spread out. How do you know? You've never seen my legs. <laughs> I thought you'd gone. I'm everywhere. Remember that. <laughs> Good evening, Hannah. Good evening, Tim. I didn't know you had a daughter. <laughs> This is Anya. Spooky. She should have the same name as our cleaner. <laughs> she is our cleaner. My God. Well, well, Anya, you scrub up well, don't you? And I'm not referring to your cleaning abilities. You... Anya! <laughs> Thank you, Sir Charles. You look nice too. Well, you'll certainly turn heads tonight, eh? What? What did I say to you, Anya? Men can be charming without wanting to get in my knickers. <laughs> yes. Well, I would never have relationship with Sir Charles. He makes Cyril Smith look like an anorexic model. <laughs> How his wife manage? Who knows? <laughs> I like ragged and muscly men. All the men here look, uh, what is phrase, metrosexual. <laughs> you know, skinny and overgroomed, mummy's boys, you know. <laughs> Corporate types. Well, they would be at this function. If I see man worth flirting for, I flirt. And I go just pissed off. <laughs> You are turning heads. Everybody's looking at you. You should be feeling like a film star. I feel like a piece of meat in meat market. <laughs> Men not look at me when I wear jeans and jump. Well, no, because you're hiding all your natural beauty. Okay, I check things now. You think I'm beautiful. You not a lesbian. You not want to get in my knickers. <laughs> Yes, on all three things. You could have any man you wanted, just lock Eliza in my fair lady. Well, all right. I suppose I do look nice and I do feel good. But if I start dressing nicer, I dress nice for me, not for men with lecherous eye. They lech at me, they will have no eye. <laughs> What's a fair compromise? I mean, look. I'm happily married, but I'm still dolled up and I'm going to flirt till I hurt. <laughs> it's just funny, it doesn't mean anything. You look like you 
waiting for your pimp to turn up. <laughs> but you look like me. We're different people. If the right man notices me tonight, then thank you. But if not, well, makeover will not change again. I not wear nice clothes just to clean offices and toilets anyway. Just for going out. And at work, I have a reputation to think about. <laughs> Well, we'll let you do your thing. If I stay with you all night, people will think we're lesbians. Hello. Uh, I, I saw you looking over at me. You are truly stunning in that dress. You like dress for me? Oh, I'm um, sorry. I didn't realise you were Russian. I'm not Russian. I'm Polish. And this with the flirting then, trying to get a passport. I am UK citizen, actually, and I have passport. I have a right to be here, and if you're not out of my face in ten seconds, I get my passport out of my handbag and ram it up your ass. <laughs> Uh, I just remembered who you are. You're our cleaner, aren't you? I am. I here for good time. Mike, right? <laughs> Technical support? Um, yes. All uh, right. Well, remember, I know where you live. Uh, okay, uh, bye. He moves to top of my hit list. <laughs> Um, excuse me. What? I'm Matt. Hi. Hi. Hey, I'm Anya. Um, what mum like you doing here? Um, you here against your will? Just relaxing and hoping to meet a nice girl. Like you. You don't know me. I think I'd like to. At least let me buy you a drink. Alright. I'll give you a chance. I like it rough. You like it rough? Um, well, I used to play rugby for wasps. Did they sting you if you lose? <laughs> wasps is the name of the team. Oh, so you rugby player? I was. Not now. Injury ended my professional career, but I had a media degree, so I got a job here. Well, you can put your rugby ball between my posts anytime. <laughs> <laughs> Baby. <laughs> oh, so, well, she loosened up. She drank a lot, but cocktails rather than pints. She did sit on a bar stool with her legs open and flush the place. <laughs> But I quickly reminded her to daintily cross her legs. She cocked her head, played with her hair, pointed her toes at people just like a pro. I taught her well. But did she find someone? I don't know. Tim and I left around 11 and she was still there. She looked like she was having a great time. Here she comes. Morning. Morning, so how was it? Come on, girl time. I had men falling at my feet, asking me for dates, asking me to dinner, Buying me drinks, fawning over me, stuff too. Many not even realise who I was, I don't think. Um, which was good. I like my Myra Hindley vibe for work. <laughs> it gives me power and control. Yes, but did you meet anyone? I see one guy. He muscly and well built. Found out he played professional rugby, but got groin injury. So wild sex like I had with Grzegorz, I think not happen. <laughs> Still, I give him chance. Good. Matt, his name was. Um, even though I drank, he not hit on me. Even though I tell him I spread my legs for him any time. <laughs> He was gentleman, not like Grzegorz. I know now, he never loved me. He just liked the sex. You never loved Gregor either. You told us one time, you said you just stayed with him for the sex. I never had man love me before. Matt really does, I think. So, thank you for the dinner dance and um, 
than my fair lady stuff. But just remember one thing. What? When I am cleaning and I am in my jeans and jumper, I am Anya. Anya, the scary lady. <laughs> Anya, the psychopath. Anya, who killed six ex-boyfriends and threw bitch off seventh floor, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Then we have Dean. I make sure Matt not tell anyone we're dating. I tell him if he does, I make decorations with his balls. <laughs> and he knows I am serious. Now, I go clean. I think she's finally found her feminine side. Even though it's buried beneath her jeans and jumpers. I think she has. But it wouldn't be quite the same down here or in the penthouse if she didn't play the ice cold Anya we know and love, would it? No. I'm sure she can be beautiful and flirtatious outside work and scary in work. Tony, if you want office clean, you get out and let me clean. Yes, Anya. Normality is resumed. That's what we'll say at your funeral. <laughs> You've been listening to Sue Ford as Hannah, Robert Chandler as Tim, Caroline Palmer as Karen, Carolina Lidka as Anya, Jeff Buckingham as Tony, Doug Neal as Sir Charles, Tom Briley as Matt, Giovanni Tagliarini and James Ford Bannister as the men at the dinner dance. And Mark Hover is poor. Highly Strung Hannah was written and directed by Robert Chandler. The audience coordinator was Matt Richards and the producer was Victoria Lawrence.